What's up guys, welcome to the brand new video and a brand new thing. So in this video, we are going to take a look at the current problems of Huawei and what might be the solution of these problems. And before we get right into it, just a quick update that yesterday, Huawei had announced that Huawei's app gallery is now the third largest app store after Google and Apple. They further disclosed that this app store currently has over 400 million monthly active users with more than 55,000 groups of applications. So definitely they are working hard on this thing, but what they're gonna do with Google's application especially now when Google has officially come up with a statement not to sideload any Google apps in Huawei devices that will come without Google's approval. According to Google, sideloading Google app carries a high risk of installing an app that has been altered or tampered with in ways that can compromise user security. So in this case, what Huawei should do now when Google suddenly threaten their users not to sideload, otherwise their privacy will be in a risk. So simple, use web-based applications. Of course, US will not allow Google and other firms such as Facebook to publish their apps in Huawei's app gallery. And without Google, Facebook and Instagram, almost no one can live their life. Nowadays, we are so addicted to these applications that we cannot enjoy a moment without Facebook, Google and of course Instagram. So yeah, we were on Huawei's case, so simply they have to use web-based applications. Now in case you don't know what is web-based app, so if you go to the browser of his smartphone and just go to any social media site like Instagram there you have this option and just click add to home screen and yep it's now on your home screen you can use it almost like an application but again it's not as efficient and fluid unlike a normal application so yeah Huawei has to optimize these web-based applications of course they cannot use all applications like this they have to pay to developers and get their apps on Huawei's app game we but they can use this method and get most american based applications and if huawei works really well to optimize these applications even better than what android currently has then it would be seriously amazing but of course they can get whatsapp with this method so it's gonna be a little difficult to get applications like whatsapp and not only that what happens if foldables suddenly comes in a story yeah it's a little different topic but huawei can take full advantage of having a web-based app like as soon as the phone gets unfolded they can give their users a full desktop like experience which is the reason why foldables are meant to to be. We are currently at the very early stage of foldables, but the future is definitely the combination of, or I would say, mixture of your laptop and your phone inside your pocket. And when there will be Huawei's Harmony OS, then things will surely be on extreme level. But right now, we are just at the current problems, which is to get American based applications in Huawei's phone. Hopefully someone from Huawei watched this video so they optimize their software that we won't feel any bug or lag to use a web-based application. So yeah that's pretty much it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video so like and subscribe would really be appreciated and do let me know should I make more videos like this and what are your thoughts about this and yeah see you in the next one.